you, Doug, for that interesting demonstration. The next effect should be equally dull. effects are different from those that we have presented earlier in that they are made by superimposing a still picture over a Super 8 film. The result is then videotaped. The first Mike will describe for you. Yes, this scene uh, involves a chase between two spacecraft on the planet Earth and it's from the pursuing spacecraft's point of view. you roll the tape on how you made the Super 8 portion of the film. Okay, Doug. Okay, I hope you don't mind me using your car here. Well, I do, but I'll forgive you this time. Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, what I have is a Super 8 camera. Uh, uses standard Kodak cartridge film. Uh, check to make sure the batteries are okay. I have it set for... Uh, one frame per second or manual intervention and what we'll use for that is a little device that you helped build. Why don't you describe it, Doug? Oh, it's very exciting. It consists of a switch, a battery, a capacitor, and a relay, which turns on and off about once a second. Basically, it just cycles the relay mm -hmm. about once a second and that triggers the camera. Right, and so we just plug that device into the outlet there. I see you care a great deal about it. I do very much, thank you. Throw it in the sea again and I'll take it away. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what I do here is set up the tripod. Works best in the front seat, although it depends on the cars. I had a car once that worked best in the back seat. Okay, now once I have it mounted here, what I'm gonna do is uh, aim it straight out so that the road is centered. The road has to be in the center of the, of the frame. And then what I'll do at the same time is uh, zoom out so that I don't see the hood of your car. I don't want to see the hood of my dirty car either. No, it hasn't been cleaned in years. At least. Okay, and then what I'll do is secure the camera by putting it up so that it uh, hits the roof. Now I'll lock it in that position so that it doesn't move around wh while the car is moving. That was fascinating, Mike. Thank you. So that's how I did that sequence, Douglas. I'm sure everyone was very impressed. I was. How would you like to go down to the GVI studio and demonstrate how we videotape that sequence? No, I don't really want to do that, Mike. Well, I'll do it anyways, Douglas, otherwise you're fired. Fine. Isn't it amazing how quickly I got here, Mike? The magic of video. Yes. Well, the first thing I did was focus the camera, the video camera that is, on the projection screen. Then I turned on the uh, movie film, 
and began playing with the slide projector, which had the slide of the spaceship on it, which is superimposed over the movie. And that's how it was done. Thank you, Doug, for that fine demonstration. Well, you're not at all welcome, Mike. I appreciate that very much. Good. Before we go to our final demonstration, Doug and I would like to invite you to help us out in our third generic video production of Star Trek. Uh, we need help in set design, set building, uh, acting, acting, script writing, uh, or any other uh, way. Just give me a call at home. My number is 854-7473 and we should be starting on this very soon in the, in the near future so give me a call we need your help and don't be discouraged by the answering machine which you'll probably hear right it's no big deal certainly uh our final effect will be uh told by doug atwell here he'll give you details on how it was done certainly our final effect which you are bound to find is truly amazing was made in a similar fashion to our last one in this case, the spaceship was on movie film and the background was on a slide. Yeah, this particular effect is of the Starship Enterprise landing at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. And I'm sure you'll all find it fascinating. Well, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it. Hope you'll be calling because we need all the help we can you get. Bet. You bet. Good night. Good night. <laughs>